Now we'll see that what effect the growth of population has on economy or the economic development of a country. When the population grows at such a rapid pace, then it does have an impact of the economy. What are that impacts is what we are going to study. Now growth of national income. National income has increased tremendously over the years. It has increased by nearly 18 times. But at the same time, population has also increased at around two times. So the impact has not come down that well as was expected. Now suppose if you have a family of two people where the income is of 1000 rupees per month. Now the family income multiplies and it grows by five times. So it becomes 5000. And the number of people in the family also increases by double. It goes to four. Earlier, what was the per capita income? It was 500, 1000 divided by two. And now when we see that income has increased by five times, what is the per capita income? It is So has the per capita income also increased five times? No, it hasn't because the population had also increased at the same pace. So though the national income has increased 18 times, but still the per capita income has all not increased that much. It has only increased at around five times. And this is because the population has grown at such a fast pace. Now the next is food supply. Again, the same thing applies to food supply as well. Food supply has also increased tremendously over the years. But when we talk of per capita food availability to the people, it has not increased that much. It has only increased from 395 to 463 grams per capita. Per person, only this much amount of food availability has increased. Whereas the food uh, production has increased many times. But because population has also increased many times, the food supply has not increased that much per person. Now the next problem that we face when the population grows at a fast pace is that the unproductive population also increases rapidly. Unproductive population we mean children and senior citizens. People who are in the age group of 15 to 64 comprises of our workforce. That is, they are the people who are in the work age population, they can work. And if the population is increasing at a rapid pace, it means children less than 15 years will be more, which means that dependent population will be more. Or unproductive consumers will be more, which means that it will be a burden on the productive community. So that is also not good for a country. But at the moment, we have 63% of population is in this workforce and this is what we should use in a proper manner. Then similarly, in a country like India, where the resources are limited, we have problem of unemployment also crops up when the population is on a rise. You have already not provided for the employment opportunities of the people that are present. And every year, the number of people that are being added to the workforce increases. So unemployment, problem of unemployment also increases in the same amount. Then capital formation also, you need more and more capital because you already have to provide some amount of money to support the addition that is being made in the population. So along with the money that is required for new production, you have to provide for already existing population. So capital formation also suffers. You need more and more money. You need more investment for the economy. Then as I had already said, there is ecological degradation because more population means you need more houses and you need more land for that. And that leads to deforestation and all. So ecological degradation also takes place. So this is the what the uh, growth of population, how it impacts our economic development. The economy may grow, it may, but the, it does not reaches to all the strata evenly because it gets the increase in population, it gets distributed amongst those. 